Hey guys, so for those of you that are new, my name is Monet, and if you're not new, you know I'm Monet. So anyways, so today I thought that I would film a little bit of a makeup look with products that I like to travel with. I am leaving for Disney World tomorrow with my family for about a week, so I thought it'd be a great time to kind of show you that and pack at the same time. So these are just products that I find are travel friendly, I know I can count on, and yeah, all that kind of good stuff. So if you want to see that look and what I travel with, then just keep watching. Hello lovelies. So we're going to kind of just get started in this. I already have my brows done. Over this trip, I'm going to let my brows kind of grow a little bit and then maybe do a tutorial about how I do my brows when I get back and how I shape them and everything. So for now, I have my brows on. I use my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, which I have used in a previous video, and that is what I will be packing with me as well. I just find that wherever I go, it's I can do pomade pretty quick and easily. I can go a little more natural or I can go a little more bold with it, which is nice. And then also it stays on really well. So since I will be in humidity, that'll be nice. So then the next thing I'll be packing will be my Essence Eye Base. Again, just my favorite eye base right now. Small and compact and easy to travel with. So we'll start with that. And then for an eyeshadow palette, you can bring any eyeshadow palette you use if you have one that has specific colors that you like to use or a small one that's compact. There's plenty of those. I, however, am going to bring a pretty big guy, my Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm just bringing this because it has a great color selection, so I'll basically have everything I could ever need. And it is thin, so I mean you can kind of just throw it at the bottom of something. Hopefully it won't break, but this is what I'm bringing, so. So I'm just going to do like go-to colors I do, which I definitely do warm tones, which is palette's great. And it has all that that I need, so let's just do something like that. So actually the only thing missing for me in the Jaclyn Hill palette is a matte bone shade color because I always like to put that down on my base first because other shades just blend easily. So I also am taking a small Z palette that does have my blush, highlighter, bronzer, my favorite single shadow, and a nice matte bone shade. So first I'm going to take that. So just placing that all over the layer. So that just sets in my eye base and gives me a good base to start with. Now I'm going to take this shade and put this in the crease. Then taking this shade, we're going to also put that in the crease. Taking a clean brush, just blending that out since it was rather pigmented. Then taking this golden bronze shade, we're going to put that on the lid and just open up the eye a little. And I just continually pack that shade on until I get it to the intensity that I want it at. Then going back in with a blending brush and that last orange shade we did just to put it in the crease and shade and the orange shade together. Really light touch on this. Then going in with a little bit of a smaller blending brush, I'm going to go in with this deeper brown shade and I'm going to just place that on the outer corner just to add some dimension. Again just adding more so I can build it up to the intensity that I want it to be at. I am trying so hard not to pull on my eye and so far I'm doing it so we'll go in places. And just going back in with a clean brush and blending it all together. Stop now. 
So since I am packing liner, I am going to throw some liner in this look, especially since I didn't do any in my last look as well. So I'm just taking a black liquid liner. This is the Tarte Sex Kitten Liner, and liner might be the hardest thing for me to do on camera, but we're going to try it out. Okay. And I'm not going to talk too much through this. Maybe in the future I'll do an eyeliner tutorial, but for now you can kind of just watch. I'm just gonna do the other eye off camera. Okay, so we did the other eye off camera. I am taking Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes, and I just got a four pack. It's like eight bucks or something like that. In case I lose some and do end up wanting to wear lashes at all. I probably won't wear lashes every day since I'll just be with my family and stuff, but sometimes I like them and they're easy to do, so. That's what I'm doing. So then on to the face for primer. I am packing my Becca First Light Priming Filter. And I actually really, really like this primer. It kind of just brightens the skin. Definitely makes my makeup last longer. And they sell it in a small size, so definitely nice for saving space. So I'm gonna take this guy. Just taking a little bit of it. Definitely got some stick to it, which I like in my primers. I also already moisturized with my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea moisturizer, which I will also be taking with me because I have a mini size of it that you can get in a little um, gift set that Tarte sells. They sell a lot of like mini sets so you can try out their skincare. Cute little guy, definitely smaller than the big guy. And for foundation, I am going to, I always like to take stick foundations when I travel. I find them just really easy to travel with. While I do love the Tarte stick foundation and the Makeup Forever stick foundation, the Tarte one, I'm unfortunately in between shades, so I do have to mix the shades. And I don't want to pack two, so I'm going to take my, so I'm taking my Anastasia stick foundation in Warm Natural. Price point's really good on this. I think it's 25 for a high-end foundation, so pretty great. I do like this foundation, it's a little more matte, which typically I don't as much go for matte foundations, but because I'll be in Florida with the humidity, this should hold up throughout the day. This guy also has broken me out a little bit, nothing crazy, just like little bits in my cheek area, but not every time I wear it, so I don't know what that is, but that is something I've noticed. So we're just gonna paint this on and then go in with a brush and blend out. Should I leave it like this? Taking a flat top brush. I think this shade might be a tad bit light on me, but if we throw some bronzer, I think we'll be okay. Of course, you know, I don't even leave the house without this, so definitely not, not going to travel with it. So, going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light medium. Again, pretty small, compact, nothing too crazy. Okay, so sadly, right after I applied the concealer, my card is full, so I had to go dump it. But since that is a quick-acting concealer, I did have to set it in, or blend it out with a beauty sponge off camera. So now we just have some fresh concealer on and to set my face, I'm just using a pressed tinted Tarte finishing powder. It's got a little bit of a tint to it. This isn't necessarily gonna add more coverage at all, it's just got a tint so that way translucent doesn't leave any sort of white cast on me since I do have a little bit of color. And I do this instead of my like regular loose powder underneath and then whatever else all over the face because I hate traveling with loose powder. It's just a mess and sometimes it'll leak and so I just like doing a pressed powder and quickly throwing this all over, putting a little bit extra underneath the eyes where I put the concealer. <laughs> Thank you.
And then for the rest of the face, like I said, I just have one of these little like C palettes. This one is a Tarte one. Um, it's definitely smaller than a lot of other Z palettes. Like I have other ones that are like this big. So it's just a small little guy and I just like to put all my face products in this. So like I said, I do have my blush in there and my highlight, which are both from Makeup Forever and you can buy them separately or in like a duo or trio. And then this bronzer is just a Tarte bronzer that I popped out of a palette because a lot of their new palettes you can pop out and are magnetic. And this bronzer is just called Terracotta. And then of course, like I said, I have just that single bone shade color, which I also popped out from the Tarte palette. And then this is just one of my all-time favorite shadows. You'll see me use this in a future video. And this is called Boy in Fresco from Anastasia. And it's basically the only shadow that I'm missing in my Jaclyn Hill palette. So first going in with some blush. Luckily, I do love these Makeup Forever singles and the Tarte ones. Um, super great quality and whatnot. And I would choose them even if I wasn't traveling. So even better, they can be put into a travel-friendly little case. They also have multiple colors and shades of highlighters, blushes, and bronzers. Now, for a and then a little bit of this bronzer. It can also be kind of used as a contour since it is matte. Taking what's left over on my brush and just hitting the neck. Then lastly, this highlight, which is the Makeup Forever H106. Oh yeah. And then I of course like to hit under the brow bone. And then I go back to the under eye and I just have my Makeup Forever brown pencil. I'm gonna throw a little bit on the outer corner for some dimension. And then the mascara I'm going to be taking is I'm gonna be taking the Lancome ones for a big mascara. I love this on my lower lashes. I did just recently try it on my upper lashes and I'm obsessing over it. So definitely like it and it's in a small size. So plenty of mascaras you can buy in a small size, but I definitely love this one. Also gonna hit my top lashes a little bit just to blend my real lashes with the false lashes. At the base. And then for lip, I'm just taking one of my favorite lip combos, taking the Kat Von D lip pencil in Lolita. I love this color one and two. It just stays like nobody's business and goes great for under the lips. So that way it stays and I don't have to be constantly reapplying. So I'm just gonna start by outlining my lips and then filling in the entire lip with it. <laughs> I literally had this lip liner on this morning and this morning and I ate pizza, right? Great nutritious breakfast, and it stayed on through the Grace A pizza. How awesome is that? And then over that, I'm just taking my favorite lipstick shade, one of my absolute favorite lipstick shades, just for a nice nude every day. And that is the Tarte Color Splash Rainforest of the Sea lipstick in five o'clock. This adds, adds a little bit more hydration because that Lolita pencil is pretty dry which does make it last longer, but these do wear really nicely, but I just really like the color and have a little more hydration. Okay, and then lastly, what I'm going to take is my, of course I need a setting spray, since if I am traveling, I'm probably gonna be out all day, which I will be at Disneyland or Disney World, literally knowing my family from open to close, so I am definitely taking a setting spray. This is just my MAC Fix Plus. It's just a little mini. So I'm going to take that. Spray myself now. I feel like my makeup's not done until I put on the setting spray. So that is the last step in everything that I am going to take. Of course, there's going to be a few brushes. I try to take as minimal as possible. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. Pretty simple. 
also using some really awesome products and some travel friendly products. Uh, biggest thing I'm taking is that palette. However, like I said, you kind of have everything you need. Other than that, I try to go for smaller size things or um, more of like stick foundation rather than liquid makeup because I have had like makeup bottles explode on me in airplanes before. So plus then it's under three ounces for sure because it's a cream stick. And so that is everything I'm taking. And also just want to let you know that you don't have to necessarily take those exact products. There are tons of minis of so many things. I know that like at Ulta, they have like the little spot where you can get little minis right next to the cash register. And same as Sephora, they have their little beauty on the fly section that is also little minis of everything. So I know there's like mini mascaras, there's mini bronzers, there's mini palettes, there's mini lip products, everything. So super awesome and easy for those of you that travel. While you're watching this, I will probably either already be in Florida or just about to be in Florida, but I did want to get this up before I left. And then I have another video ready to go for while I'm there because I will be gone for a week. So once again, thanks so much for watching and see you next time.